Hey friends, I hope you're having a great weekend. At one point or another, I'm sure you've heard the story of this Canaanite woman, this very desperate and helpless mother who came to Jesus, asking him to heal her daughter. And do you remember Jesus' response? He said, it's not right to take what belongs to the children and give it to the dogs. Did you cringe when you heard that response? Do you think that Jesus was insulting her? This is the reading that you will hear when you go to church this Sunday. And you will hear it with another reading from Isaiah where God says, My house shall be a house of prayer for all peoples. So let's try to understand Matthew's story and why Jesus makes the response he did. Matthew's writing the story for two reasons. First, he wants his readers to understand that Jesus is indeed the Son of God. And he's trying to elicit faith. But then he's also saying that Jesus is the Son of God for all peoples. Matthew is trying to uh, solve a social conflict that was going on in his time, in his society, among his readers. It was between Jewish Christians and Gentile Christians. They were at loggerheads with each other. And he's saying that it is possible to bridge the gaps between peoples who do not understand each other or get along with each other. Do you think that's relevant for our times? So first of all, it's a Canaanite woman who comes to Jesus. Now Canaanites and Jews were bitter enemies and the enmity goes back all the way to the time when the people of Israel came and occupied the land of Canaan. That was the promised land that God gave to them. So the enmity goes back then and continued all the way up to the time of Jesus. Now, Matthew tells us that Jesus was in the region of Tyre and Sidon. Now to the ordinary reader that may not mean anything, but Matthew is saying that Jesus has actually left his territory, the Jewish region, and he's actually walked into pagan territory. So he's breaking boundaries. So we shouldn't be surprised that a pagan woman comes to Jesus asking him for a favor because she's on her home ground. Jesus is the outsider over there. But then this pagan woman also breaks a boundary. She comes to Jesus and she calls him Lord, son of David. Now generally a Canaanite would not do that because that says that she's accepting uh, the authority of David over uh, the Canaan land. But she breaks the boundary. She calls him Lord, son of David. It had political overtones and yet she's not afraid to break those boundaries. Now Jesus responds to uh, her in the way that we think that he might be insulting her. But actually, Matthew is using Jesus' response to say uh, or, or to highlight how severe the conflict was between uh, the Jewish Christians and the Gentile Christians. And he's saying that any barrier can be overcome. Now the woman's response back to Jesus is even more interesting. She says, but even dogs eat the scrap that falls from the children's table. So basically she's telling Jesus, listen, you've broken the geographical boundary. You walked into my home ground. Could you break one more boundary? Could you go further ahead and for the sake of a greater good, heal my daughter? And Jesus is impressed. Jesus heals her, but then Jesus does something even more. He tells the entire crowd present there that she's a woman of great faith. He calls her a woman of great faith and see what has happened. Jesus elevates the enemy and makes her a model of faith. Folks, we have so many social conflicts in our time. And faith can be a great healer. But I think the good thing is to, uh, or, or the challenging thing is for us to break the barriers that exist like Jesus did and like the woman did. And if we do so, it's possible that there can be a greater understanding between, between peoples. God is nobody's monopoly. God belongs to everybody. And God is inviting all peoples to his house. His house shall be a house of prayer for all peoples. So this Sunday, after you hear the readings, please go out into society and try to break barriers like Jesus did, like the woman did. 
the conflicts in our times, let's try to resolve it because it's for a greater good. Have a great weekend.